Jackie Bird, and I'm on a fact-finding mission to uncover the truth about what went wrong with the Labour Party. A lack of vision, a failure of leadership, or the work of vile separatists. Quite frankly, Jackie, I don't know where to start. One day I went to take my angry banjo lesson and through the rising tide of fury I became increasingly aware that I was surrounded by gnats. I'd have been as well taking that advanced gnattery course at Napier with the hose beast. They was everywhere, Jackie, and they were genetically programmed to make decisions. They had an evolutionary algorithm-based methodology that allowed them to perform user-defined tasks according to a fitness landscape determined by computational simulations. It was worse than the Matrix. Amongst the gibberish, I discerned that there may have been an unhealthy atmosphere of backstabbing and intimidation within the party. I wouldn't say that, Jackie. It wasn't really a party atmosphere at all. Soon, Labour would find its messiah in the Murphy Bot 900, part of the Westminster Career Politician series. A lady in red is dancing with me, cheek to cheek. <laughs> Unfortunately, the model was well out of date. Towards the general election, it became clear that we would have to bring out the big guns. An elder statesman and former prime minister would make an emotional, barnstorming speech that would strike fear into the hearts of cowardly separatists everywhere. Gordon Hungry! <laughs> Foul! Separation bad! Gordon Sleepy! I asked party heavyweight and intellectual giant Lord Robertson if it was hideous separatist plans to rip Britain asunder that were the real cause of Scottish Labour's woes. Many moons ago I predicted that nationalism would kill devolution stone dead, and so it has come to pass. Now I say unto yous, Scotland's a totally rubbish and significant little country, but if it goes full separation it will mean the collapse of Western civilization and the surefire extinction of the macaroni pie. Today we find ourselves looking to select a new leader for only the sixth time in eight years. And what a selection we have. I'm the anti-establishment candidate, and I'm offering the electorate policies of substance and integrity. What does that actually mean, in practical terms? I don't like the First Minister's shoes. We shouldn't be aiming to be the party that forms the next government. We should be aiming to be second best, and that's a big step up for us. The separatists have lots of seats. But we fought hard against separation, so we're happy with just the one. We're beating them at their own game, and they don't even know it. <laughs> I've still got a job! Some say to be successful you need a right wing and a left wing, but the left is significantly heavier, so we cut it off. We've been flying in a circle ever since, and that suits us fine. It's aerodynamically more efficient. New banjos! I'm getting that interference on my instrument! I'm very much in favour of reforming the House of Lords. I'll do it as soon as I get my peerage. I've still got a job! As you can see, Scottish Labour has turned a corner and is on the road to recovery. And personally, I have a massive horn for the new direction. The one direction. The only direction the party is heading in. That's a good thing, isn't it?